Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jen Gianni and Christine is with me and we are highlighting Madeline Black's video on our site called Pelvis in Motion. And that the sequence and the exercise that we're highlighting uh, today is really looking at on an all fours position, uh, the legs really being the locomotion carrying that still passive pelvis back, forward, and side to side. And Madeline goes through so many sequences of really getting us aware, the very, very creative sequences on um, how to move the pelvis on the leg and then how to move the leg on the pelvis and just noticing the difference and when we're doing it in combination, et cetera, et cetera. So this is one of the sequences. Um, I like, and you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to have on this one my toes tucked under. Yep, so I'm stretching the toe pads in the bottom of the feet. So Christine is finding a place where she can be working in that right Goldilocks position with her upper body. So from her tail to her head, that stays the same. And so what she's thinking about doing, she's gonna bring her sitting bones back towards her hips, hold here. Now keep reaching into your forearms and really keep thinking about the sitting bones and the tail staying up to the ceiling behind you. So she's coming in just to a deeper hip flexion. Now, her arms stay in place. She's going to move the position of her spine and her pelvis forward. So what happens is that as she starts going forward, she's pressing into her elbows. This will probably be about it, but she started to move her pelvis towards that hip extension. And then coming back, so she's carrying that same position of her head, tail, back. She's reaching into her forearms, hold there. She's thinking about her sitting bones and her tail reaching up. She's also thinking about the contents of her abdominals lifting up into the front of her spine. And then we'll do one more of that extension forward, pressing down into the forearms and the elbows. Try not to lose the rib cage as you go forward. Good, and then slowly coming back to her neutral working position. So now we're gonna go at a diagonal. So we have a teacup on her sacrum, so we don't wanna see the pelvis rotating. So she's gonna take her pelvis, her left sitting bone towards her left heel. Mm -hmm. So good, so come back to center for a second. Now I'm gonna help guide her. So it's gonna be here, right? And so hold here. You're gonna reach into that right elbow and really think about your left sitting bone lifting to the corner of the ceiling behind you. Good, and then gently shift it back to center. Good, so all these four points stay the same. So you're shifting back, there you go. Reach into that left elbow and really feel that right sitting bone reaching up towards the ceiling. And we don't wanna see so soften these front, yes. So you're still symmetrical in the rib cage. And then come back to center. So if this were a picture frame, it's just like I'm tilting the picture frame to one side, hold here for a second. Good, reach into that right forearm. I'm looking that the rib cage stay nice and symmetrical and the, the teacup has not rotated off. That looks good. Come back to center. And then take that picture frame so we're not twisting or bending the picture frame as we, yes, there you go. Hold here, soften these ribs, reach into that left forearm, beautiful, come back to center. She's getting better and better through the repetitions and that's part of it. Go to the left again, good, hold, soften here a little bit, perfect. And then come back to center and now come to the right. Yeah, good, perfect. And it's, it's back to this right rib cage. Even though she's getting better and better, there's always the sense, whether she goes to the left or the right, that she wants to open that right rib cage, which is interesting. Good, and sit back into child's pose. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.